<laughs> so I'm here to teach Calvin and Kalina their very first violin lesson. And I'm here to teach Sam a little bit about football. We'll see how that goes today. So the goal is to be able to hold it without any hands. I just, whoa, <laughs> you already did it. I just look away for a second. <laughs> but actually that is uh, incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes sort of on the shoulder. Yes, perfect. Amazing. All right, now let's learn some notes. Here, yep, down to the shoulder and you're good. It's called tremolo. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. It's always cool learning. I think that's the most important thing, but it's, it's learning something that you don't know. I mean, I, I kind of got a, a sense of what I want to do, but actually being able to put that process in place to actually do that. Like right now, I can feel how invigorating it is to be able to learn. All right, sound makes sense. Well, how do I get that sound to make it sound the way that I want to? So just try pressing down. Yeah, and placing. Pretty good. Are you ready to play your first exercise on the app? Yes, look forward to it. Let's do it. Eighty-three percent. Okay. Significantly better. All right, let's do it. You want one more? Yeah. If you only play when the notes are there, you'll get perfect. You wanna play? Good job. You did it. Are you ready? for just a tad bit of introduction into just a little football. So we just, you taught me about posture, I'm gonna teach you a little about posture. It won't be hard, but just a couple of things that I think are necessary uh, for any athlete, not just a football player, but any athlete to be able to do as it pertains to posture. I'm ready. Show them how we do it. But now, there we go. We just wanna hold that for 15 seconds or so. All right, you can get up, K3. Okay. If he can get up, there we go. Try to bring toes together, there we go. So all you wanna do is be able to brace. All this is is bracing. All right, you good. Oh, nice and tight. I like it. Getting a little red over here. <laughs> Form out. There we go. Right leg up. All right, put it down. Left leg up. All right, put it down. Don't allow me to pick your legs up, all right? Oh. <laughs> there we go, you're good. <laughs> good job, man. See? That was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. <laughs> so if I want to take this and apply it to my own practice as a musician, like there might be like a synergy here. Like, what do I do on a daily or on a weekly basis? You mentioned something when we were, you know, out here a minute ago. You was like, hey, if you just picked up the violin out of the case and put it in that posture position, you just held it there for a couple minutes, put the bow in the right position, you will get better over time. You talked about discipline; it's the same thing. Uh, one of the major major reasons that I got involved in Trilla was the ability to serve young people. I love what Trilla is doing. I love. Uh, the fact that, um, you know, I get to be able to share this vision with, with Sam and the Charlotte team. I love hearing the violins. I love um, hearing the stringed instrument. You don't get to see a lot of people who look like me that are on the screen playing um, the violin and playing that type of music. To see my daughter now playing, you know, that's increasing the representation within, you know, just the music ecosystem to see, you know, black people, African-American women that are also taking part in this, uh, this journey. And for me, that's something that I'm not only passionate about, but I also want to see. And I want to be a part of that execution to see more people of color, you know, be thrust into positions where they can play, be recognized for their play, um, and also be, you know, world changers. And I think that's the ability that, that, that you have with learning how to play the violin the right way.